Well, good morning to you. It's a Monday morning, Cooper's Automotive, and we've got a 2012 Dodge Charger. It was at uh, Mako's for body repair. Uh, customer picked it up. Terrible growling sound when he hit the brakes. Uh, I figure that's overspray on the rotors because that's gone now. Uh, traction control light uh, is on, and the uh, car pulls extremely hard to the right. So, uh, yeah, I drove it, does all that. Here's the bill from Mako, but you'll find interesting on this bill right here in the very bottom. Let's see if I can get it in there, right there. Four wheel alignment. Steel wheels turned a quarter of a turn to the left, car pulls to the right. Um, no, nah, they didn't line this car up. They replaced the uh, right front fender. <clears throat> um, they replaced the door skin on the right front passenger side. The rear door used door shell. Paint, lower control arm. Uh, the door hinge. The rim on the right front. Match, paint, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, um, scan test got into the vehicle just to see why the traction control lights on pretty much had an idea and we'll go back to that um, bring this up all right a c0051-28 is active and stored right now and we got uh the 51 and uh, it's all steering angle sensor position codes out of range well obviously it is when that wheel is turned to the left like it is so, I'm going to uh, <clears throat> lift it up here first and probably get it on the alignment machine, see what our numbers are. take a look and see if they change that lower control arm and see if they've done their job on this car got another car over there for stuff but anyway here's the vehicles uh, did put a rim on this side did change that fender that rocker panel you can see they painted that door pretty lousy job see orange peel Pretty, pretty bad job, actually. Um, let's see about this lower control arm replacement. Get a light on that. Um, yeah, that arm has been changed right there. That one's been changed. Um, if I see anything else, it just obviously looks bent. Um, I don't see anything. But I can tell by a visual that's been bent here.
Well, anyway, I'm going to cut the video off right there, get the alignment machine on it, and uh, look at our angles, see what we got, and we'll pick back up. All right, I'm going to pick up from here. Uh, you can skip through the alignment setup if you want. If you just want to watch it for fun, that's fine. Um, just for documentation, it said 2012 Dodge Charger. It's equipped with the police package. It wants to know the uh, level angle from there to the floor. And that is so we have a steering angle sensor that has to be zeroed out when we do the alignment, set the toes and stuff. Let's uh, get all the wheels balanced in. Actually, tell you what, I'm going to stop and uh, I'll just pick up with all the angles here in just a minute. All right, all the angles are in, and here's what we've got. We've got a preferred 0.9 negative on our uh, camber. That's, that's not bad because we're at minus uh, one, minus 1.1 on our right front. Preferred 1.3, that's pretty doggone good. Our caster readings, 7.7 .7 preferred, 7.6, uh, 8.4 on this side. Again, we're not bad caster. Our, our toe is a mile and a half off. Um, we need a preferred 0.10 positive on both sides. So we gotta bring those numbers in. And our steering wheel now is dead sitting straight. So we're going to straighten that out. But uh, they obviously uh, did not line this car up. Our rear caster camber readings, as you see, are perfect. No problems there. So I'm going to stop, do the toe adjustments, and pick back up.